The administrators were so bluffed that they could only initiate a vote. The crowd, who thought they were about to get out of death, frowned CM was refreshed by human greed for three levels. A tie was surprisingly reached after 200 people voted. The last one to vote was an old man in his prime. Tony instantly felt bad. The old man had told them in the opening round that it didn't have long to live and was willing to gamble here. Seeing that the old man's choice was a foregone conclusion, Tony nearly broke down. But what he didn't expect was that the old man hesitated for half a day and finally pressed the end button. In the end, the game ends as expected and everyone is sent back to the real world. However, Tony, who is heavily in debt, is blocked to the toilet by the proprietor, threatening to gouge out his eyes and kidneys. And at that moment, news came from the hospital. The mother has terminal diabetes and needs her money for hospitalization. To make matters worse, the daughter is about to leave for England with her ex-wife. So father and daughter will never see each other again. Tony realizes that the root cause of all this is his lack of money. But then, the invitation to play Squid Games is renewed, and Tony is shaken by the fact that he has no intention of compromising. 201 people are brought to a deserted island to play the game, and the winner gets 46, $5 billion in prize money. However, if they are eliminated in the middle of the game, they will perish. Such a terrible game, it should have been avoided with fear. Yet there was that group of people who chose to participate without hesitation. Tony finally decides, to embark on this path of no return just moments before the game closes. When Tony came back to the game camp, he was surprised to find a lot of familiar faces. John, his childhood friend, Bap, his savior, and the only old man who is not afraid to die. Though, Tony can't wait to propose an alliance so that we can all go forward and backward together. The second level of the game soon begins. The administrator asked everyone to choose shapes, which were triangles, circles, pentagrams, and an umbrella. And the crowd looked at each other, not knowing how to choose. John suggested that in order to be flexible, it would be best if everyone didn't pick the same one. Tony, who had proposed to form a team, became the leader of the team and was very generous in letting his teammates choose first. John chose the simplest triangle. Bob chose the circle representing the moon in his hometown. The old man chose the bright five-pointed star, and Tony had to choose the remaining umbrella. However, they didn't realize that the rules of the game, while still simple and crude, had caught the crowd off guard this time. They need to pick out the pattern they chose from the sugar cookies intact in order to get through the game. Tony, who chose the umbrella, was instantly skeptical. The sugar cookies were so crunchy that they would break if they weren't careful. Tony pouts and doesn't dare to let go, picking it out with the needle bit by bit. Anna sneaks a lighter into the dim field and burns the needle when the janitor isn't looking, and soon the graphic is complete, and out of the sugar cookie, those who chose triangles and circles also completed the task one after another. The rest of the team wasn't so lucky, and soon someone was shot because of a mistake, splattering blood all over the floor. Tony, who was already nervous, was too scared to breathe, with only three minutes left on the clock. Tony's cold sweat was pouring down his face, dripping down his chin onto a sugar cookie, when suddenly, he seemed to realize something. Tony held up the sugar cookie to the sun and looked left and right, and unexpectedly found that the place where the drops had dripped had melted. In his haste, he immediately started licking the rim line with his saliva. This action left everyone around him flabbergasted. Even the big man behind the curtain was very speechless. But no one says you can't do that. Us, the crowd, who had no choice but to follow suit, hastened to follow suit. I don't know if it's a donkey effect. But in any case, Tony's strange brain circus still saved his life at a critical moment. But the game is far from over. What kind of life-threatening challenges will come next for the survivors?